tie. Wuffenden goes off gate number two. In blue here, Martin Vasilik off gate three in white. Matty Zegar outside yellowish number 13. Then the resumption here of the Dutch and Slovenian FIM Speedway Grand Prix. Chris Degardel puts the green light on and away from the start. And it's a good one from the inside gate and Andreas Jonsson. And here on the inside comes Zegar. Wuffenden looks over his shoulder. Oh, it's very tight down the back and Wuffenden's come through. Now he's going to challenge Zegar. Third in white here is Martin Vasilik. The man in red is Andreas Jonsson. And he's gone to the back. Wuffenden is chasing hard here, but Wuffenden can afford to sit tight in second and let Zegar kick on here. That's the mindset Peter has to remind him. Looks over his left side, sees Vashlik's there, but it's all about Matty Zegar. The crowd has gone nuts. It's hard to even hear ourselves talk at the moment as he goes across north. Two more laps gone, and here's all Ty Wuffenden still wants to get there. The lead is with Matty Zegar, and one cannot underestimate what a big result this will be if Zegar can hold off Wuffenden. Zegar with that lead, we're going into the last lap. Wuffenden's chasing after him. Wuffenden throws the bike into the turn. He's going to try the inside cut now. Zegar holding on. Wuffenden all over him here into turns three and four. Zegar holds the inside line, and that'll do it. That'll do for Zegar. Wonderful ride from the Slovenian. Bust off the inside for the Slovenian. Frederick Lindgren of Sweden off gate number two in blue. Niels Christian Iverson, gate number three in white from Denmark. Alexander Konda, the wild card, is last. A big heat number 17 is coming up here then. Zegar's on five, Lindgren's on six. Iverson in white is already into the semi finals. And it's a good start from Lindgren off two, but Zegar's in there as well. And it's all very tight, and the whole crowd go wild. Zegar has the lead. If it stays like this, Lindgren will get eight. Zegar will get eight. And listen to the roar of the crowd here. Unbelievable first lap of Speedway. And it was all about Matty Zegar backing up his last race win. He's got three more points under his belt if he can hold on to them. But Freddie Lindgren means business. We've been showing his determination throughout his last couple of races. He will not give up. He's going to chase Matty down to the end, Nigel. Yep, Lindgren just as quick as Zegar. And now Lindgren tries the inside line. To the last lap they go. Zegar holds the line. Lindgren's right up his exhaust pipe. Down the back straight. Zegar cannot afford to be passed by Lindgren. Zegar needs this. Desperate to hang on. Matty is the man. What a Inside in red, his Grand Prix debut as reserve. Matty Zegar goes off gate number two in blue, the Slovenian. Gate three in white is Andreas Jonsson and Ty Wuffenden disqualified. If you have just joined us, three riders only, heat number two, third time of asking. Oh, oh. England's made an absolute jet propelled start. The youngster off the inside gate. Now Jonsson's going to go wide, and look at this from the reserve. Frederick Eggman on his debut. Extraordinary scenes. Second place is Matty Zegar. Andreas Jonsson is third. But what a dream start to Grand Prix Speedway for Frederick Eggman. Eggman away from the tapes, really sharp. Paris to the front. No question of that and how often does it happen Andreas Johnson was away out in front first time he's now back in third place Zago in second place putting plenty of pressure on the track reserve Engman out in front Zago looking really threatening down the oh. back strike nearly clashing well he almost collected his back wheel there that's the type of racing you can expect tonight and here comes Johnson Zagar. as well Zago's past him now Jonsson's going to try and go past him as well. He goes high and wide towards the turn. Look how close the three of them are. Down the back straight, a big swoop from Andreas Jonsson. Jonsson's got the better of him as well. And that's a good speedway race in heat number two. Yeah. Darcy Ward is off gate two in blue, who pulled off that fine ride in his opener. Matty Zegar off gate three in white. And Antonio Limbach is the man off the outside. And heat number seven it is. Could be a good race, this one. Particularly if Madsen makes a start, which he has. And Ward has been left trailing in the tapes. Uh, I've been trailing as well at the start line. Look at this now, coming out of turn two. The lead is with Zegar. Watch out for Ward here. Madsen is on the inside in red. Darcy Ward now is going to try and come through the middle. He holds second place. Lindbach's in the back. But you can be sure Matty Zegar is going to be in for a rocky ride with Darcy Ward all over him now, Kelp. Yeah, I would agree with that. Ward missed the start, but he's charging hard in second place. Zegar was sharp. 
out of gate three and is in front, but I don't know how much longer because you just look at Ward, he's doing all sorts of stuff in second place, but Zagar, classy move there, but Ward charges hard, chops to the outside now, squares the corner off, charging to the inside, no room there, switches to the outside, terrific speedway race. Ward really chasing hard after Zagar, but you have to say the Slovenian has ridden a beautiful line here. Yeah. He's had eyes in the back of his head, he's looked over, he's gate in yellow and has ridden well tonight. The inside gate. Will there be pressure on his shoulders? He's made a good one, but not as good as Pedersen off three. Nicky Pedersen, oh, Pedersen's lost it completely in that first turn. This track is starting to rut up. That hands Yarek up on the lead, but now he's got Zagar around the outside. Pedersen's going to come back for more as well. Matty Zagar, what a move by the Slovenian. He is on top of his game right now. Fabulous move from Zagar right round the outside. Um, Hampel caught napping as they came out of turn four in the opening lap. Pedersen making the mistake in the first corner, clearly a rut developing there. Caught him out and he gets relegated back to third place. But what a move from Zagar. He's out in front. Not only is he in front, he's super fast there. Really should be able to pick up another three points. And Ty Wolfenden will see the only two riders who can really push him for the world title are dropping points again here. Yeah. Yara Campbell in red and Nicky Pedersen in white. Hampel doesn't look quick tonight. No, he's not. He's the, struggling for speed. Yep, the lead is with Zegar who wins the ride in red. Yara Campbell, he can close the gap with a win here and a win in the final to 14 on Wolfenden. But Wolfenden on his way to hospital after the meeting with a broken collarbone. Darcy Ward, gate three in white. Andreas Johnson for him to make the final and salvage his Grand Prix career. Here we go. Here we go with the first semi-final. Great start from Hampel off gate number two. And he had last pick of gates. In fact, no pick at all. It's what he was left with. And look how quick he's looking here now. Yara Campbell absolutely flying here. Zagar second. Darcy Ward, who's been exceptional all night, could miss out on a place in the final here. It's choppy out there, but the lead is with Hampel. Zagar second, Ward third, Johnson at the back. What a ride from Hampel out in front. Nowhere earlier on tonight, a jet propelled start, and he absolutely roars away out in front. Zagar hanging on to second place. Ward desperately looking for a way through. He'll be really disappointed if he can't make the final tonight after only dropping one point. Well, what a ride from Hampel, giving himself another chance of the world title in two weeks' time. Yep, Hampel kicking on and looking super quick here. Yara Campbell is going to narrow the gap on Wuffington to 17 points now. Victory for Hampel. He's self thoroughly enjoying the action here. Hope you are as well, wherever you're watching around the world. Niels Christian Everson off the inside in red. Yara Campbell goes off gate number two in blue. Matty Zegar gate three in white. Greg Hancock goes off the outside in the yellow helmet colour. Here we go then, here in Stockholm, great start from Everson off the inside gate, Hampel's looking quick here, oh now here comes Zegar on the inside, Everson is second, Hampel now is in traffic, Hampel's gone to the back but here comes Everson, only one Grand Prix went to his name, oh! Zegar's never won, what a ride, Hampel's come through into third! Brilliant move from Neil Smith and Everson to slam the door shut as he fired himself to the front, Zegar initially made that move to get himself there but Everson responded well, Hampel got beaten up in the first corner, is charging hard, looking for every point. Zagar, Zagar pushing hard. What a final. Everson once again regains the lead. Terrific ride for Niels Christian Everson out in front. Niels Christian Everson riding magnificently here. It's his fifth appearance in a GP final. He's in the bronze medal position at the moment. If it stays like this, then Ty Wuffenden will only need six points in Torrent to be world champion. Everson with a the wrong flight effectively to get out of here but that is completely different this year he's right on top of his game both on and off the track ty wuffenden leon madsen matty's occasions including this evening he's still riding at a, an extraordinary high level there we go with heat number 18 then and it's a good start from wuffenden off the inside zegar is there in white as well and zegar's got the drop zegar has that lead wuffenden second oh. wuffenden has to get off the gas to avoid the back wheel here comes Pedersen. nicky Pedersen on the inside wuffenden took a look across and saw him coming through madsen is Second, Pedersen is second now, coming hard around the outside of Madsen. The lead though is with Matty Zegar, who's coming good, too little, too late, but Pedersen's gonna have a go here, Kelvin. Pedersen really pushing hard, he came up, steaming up the inside of the new world champion. So
may go out in front, but he's not comfortable because Nicky Pedersen's really looking for a way through. Pedersen pushing hard, oh. squeezes across in front, slams the door shut in front of Zago coming out of turn two. What a hard ride for Nicky Pedersen. He was down and out just a few moments earlier, and he was looking off the pace, but in this one, he's flying. Yeah, Nicky Pedersen looking super quick here, and Wolfie's going to try and have a go on Liam Madsen. He could do with sneaking through into third place. Wolfenden just about now. It's going to take out Madsen.